la da da lovelies and welcome back to my channel. As it is now spooky season, I'm going to be doing a bit of a wound tutorial for you guys today. A little bit of special effects makeup, really easy and straightforward. I definitely enjoy doing this kind of thing. I really like to get my artsy side out. I'm not going to be using any latex today. It's a super simple, straightforward tutorial that you guys can easily follow along with at home. Basically what I'm going to be doing is painting a gaping open wound on my arm. This can be applied to any part of your body, you can do it on your face if you want. This year I am actually going as Little Red Riding Hood for Halloween, so I will probably be doing a similar gash to what I do on my wrist across my eye. Kind of like, you know, the big bad wolf who scratched me kind of thing. And conveniently, Brayden is going to be my big bad wolf, so I'm going to be painting his face as well. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to record that one yet, but if it is something that you guys are interested in seeing, please do let me know down in the comments. This is the little paint palette that I'm using today. It's just a water-based paint palette. There's 15 colours in this one. It's really great. I haven't used it many times, but... The paints are really good quality and super easy to use. Basically, you just apply water to it and then you'll get really good pigment in your colours. So I'm definitely very happy with this. If you want to pick one up, they are on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It costs, I think, around $15, which isn't too bad for a decent palette of paint. So that's what we're using. I'm going to be changing the angle for you guys so it's nice and easy for you to see what I'm doing. Let's get into it. I've just got a cup of water on the floor and my lovely paint palette and I'll just be using the two brushes that came with it. So I'm just starting with a base layer of red, mainly just to get the shape that I want for the wound for now. I'm going in with some brown to darken the edges. Wounds obviously heal from the outside in, so the most raw looking part of the special effect paint should be the middle. Just grab my smaller brush so I can be a bit more direct. I'm also using a bit less water this time so that the colour comes up more pigmented. Now I've mixed together some of the red and orange to get a brighter red colour and I'm just applying that in order to layer up the colours. I'm now taking my flat brush and outlining the wound in pink. When you get hurt, your skin will become inflamed, giving it a raw pink kind of colour. Obviously, this looks a bit overly exaggerated at this stage, but we'll blend it out to make it look more realistic. I'm taking my small brush with some black now to make those edges really pop. Also adding in some rough edges and a little more fine detailing. I'm adding the brown shade to the outside of the wound now, which I will blend in to get that kind of bruised, irritated effect. Put some white on my brush now with quite a bit of water so that I can really blend it into the other colours. I'm also adding some highlights. More red to help blend. Back in with the black. Now heading in with a very watery grey to blend the edges. Just using my finger to help blend those out. White for further highlights and detailing.
more black details. Blending again with water. I'd say I'm pretty happy with how the wound is looking. Now I'm going to add in some staples for an extra fun little detail. To do this, I'm taking white paint and making some slim rectangular shapes. This palette also has a metallic silver colour in it, so I'm adding that on top to give a shiny staple look. Now to outline them with some grey to add dimension and more of a realistic effect. Layering more red. One final blend around the edges. And there you have it. I think I'm pretty happy with this one. All done. Well, my lovelies, that is me all done and officially wounded. Obviously, it's not as realistic as it would be if you used products such as latex or fake blood, but I do think it's a pretty good result considering I only used face paint. Also, I think this tutorial is really easy to follow along at home. It's nothing too overly complicated. You've just got to make sure that you're kind of blending in your colours to get more of that bruised effect. And I think that the little staples add a fun element as well. That is all from me today, lovelies. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Please let me know down in the comments if you think I did a good job or not. And also, if you try this yourself, I would love to know. If you enjoyed, please do not hesitate to give me a massive thumbs up. You guys know that it really helps me out and I appreciate it. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Angela. If you would like to join me on a more permanent basis, you can do so by hitting the subscribe button to join our lovely Lauderda family. And of course, Ding that notification bell to be told when I bring out a new video. So enough said from me today, guys. Each and every one of you have an absolutely wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful, marvellous, spectacular, amazing day. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Blah, 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 love ya.